primates. It's me, Jolene Goodall, your favorite primatologist. And I'm here today on behalf of Project Chimps. We're going to cook some chili. They've asked me, Jolene Goodall, acclaimed primatologist and official spokesperson for what? Oh. They've asked me, Jolene Goodall, a rights activist and friend of the sec. No? Oh. They've asked me, Jolene Goodall, chip enthusiast and recent volunteer, here today with Jojo, the not a chimp boy, my personal assistant behind the camera. And we're going to present the recipe for your enjoyment. I know many of you have enjoyed my previous charity cooking demonstrations, and I have enjoyed your comments on the videos as well. A blight on the tongue and an assault to the rest of the senses. Gratefully inedible as they were unsafe for human consumption. And the comments didn't stop there. I heard everything from, why would you put those ingredients together, to, who is this woman anyway? Are we supposed to know? And I want to thank you for taking the time to share that feedback. But mostly, I want to thank you for finding those videos, as they have been banned from YouTube. Well, to both of my fans, I welcome you once again to my kitchen. And to all the newcomers, let me also welcome you once again for the first time. Now, the Project Chimps Celebrity Chili Recipe has been a mainstay of the sanctuary for a few years now, and I know many of you have had the opportunity to sample it at one of their events. But did you know that cooking chili is not the only thing they do there at Project Chimps? Project Chimps was founded to provide a forever home for chimpanzees thankfully retired from laboratory research providing them with food, shelter, and medical care, which is no small feat. They currently care for nearly 80 chimpanzees, and they hope to welcome a total of over 200 chimps within the next few years. I'm going to go over the recipe right now, so get that pen and paper handy. I know, let's start with the ingredients. I have them gathered right here. First, we have four large green peppers, and I will get to those in just a minute. We also have two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I have that on hand. One large white onion chopped. In addition, we have four garlic cloves finely chopped, salt and freshly ground black pepper, two 15 ounce cans of black beans drained of half of their liquid. Now you'll notice I did not have black beans available today, but I have a little bit of food coloring and a few drops that will be dark in no time. We have three tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, and half a teaspoon of allspice. Now, I'm not sure I got all of them in there, but I got most of them. Right over here, we have one 15 ounce can of crushed fire roasted tomatoes, three cups vegetable stock, and for garnish, some banana chips. Now, the recipe recommends a chili flavored banana chip, but I think we can solve that in no time. And there you go. Now I mentioned those four green peppers and the reason you didn't see them with the rest of our ingredients is because I've already begun step number one. What is step number one? Well, we're going to heat the broiler to high, charring the peppers under the broiler so that their skins blacken for uh, seven to eight minutes, turning the peppers every few minutes to char evenly. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh my. Hmm. Well, let's make the boys at fire station number 57 happy again. Jojo, I think we might want to cut here. Ooh, welcome back. Oh, I just want to mention that Jojo has finished the preparation of the green peppers, as the producer has asked that I stay away from the oven. Now, if you'd like to meet Jojo in front of the camera, I recommend you join he and I for virtual bingo in just a few weeks. That's right, Project Chimps will be holding virtual bingo, so you can come, maybe win a few prizes, help us out, and just have a good time with me, Jolene Goodall, and Jojo the Not a Chimp Boy. The fire's out, the paramedics have gone on their way, and we're ready to begin the actual cooking. Okay. So our next step says, place a medium-sized pot over medium-hot heat, uh, 
two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and about two turns of the pan. Okay, 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 one, okay, and two. Well, our next step, we will add our garlic. Ooh, we will add our chopped onion. Very nice. And now we'll brown those up for just a few moments. So no chimp in the chimp chili. Well, that makes a little more sense. I had some concerns, especially since it is a vegan recipe. That's good, that's good. Well, anyway, we've been browning our veggies for just a few minutes. They're looking quite good. It's time to add just a little seasoning. And let's see what our next step is. Okay, add a cup of the broth. Absolutely, let's do that. Add a cup. Oh, that looks about right. There we are. And now, cook to reduce the liquid by half. Well, it seems like we could have saved a step here. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we've had a little correction. I now understand how stock reduction works. We've added the black beans and we're ready to move forward. I'm going to go ahead and add our chopped peppers. Very nice. Our roasted red tomatoes. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. And we'll add the rest of the stock. Very, very good. Okay. Now, that's going to have to come to a bubble, which will give me a moment to tell you a little bit more about virtual bingo. People have asked, Jolene, 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 how did you become involved with Project Choose? And it's a rather interesting story and quite a wonderful little tale it is too. You see, I just happened to be home at the family manse and I was walking down the hall and there on the sideboard was a note that had come in the mail and it said, Miss Goodall, we have always admired the wonderful work you do with chimpanzees and we were wondering if you might support our institution in some way. Well, of course I said yes. I mean, I had no idea my work had become so famous. Usually people are trying to contact my sister, but Jane wasn't even home that week. So I was glad to hear from them. And so for the first three Thursday nights in March, it's virtual bingo. Come join us. There's no charge to play. You can have a good time. Hang out with me, Jolene Goodall, Jojo the Not A Chimp Boy. Learn a bit more about Project Chimps and support a good cause if you choose. Why not go straight to projectchimps.org? Right here on the screen, you can do that, right? Yes, projectchimps.org and find out more. And we'll see you there. Well, we've come to the end of another cooking demonstration, and I hope to hear from you in the comments section. All that was left was to garnish our chili with the banana chips or with anything else you might like to add to it, because cooking is a personal experience. Now, I like the recipe as written because it's healthy and good for the animals, just the way they enjoy it down at Project Chimps. Check us out online or come play virtual bingo with me me, Jolene Goodall. And let's not forget about all the other ways you can be involved with Project Chimps. Come toward the facility twice a year at our Discovery Days, or bring the kids to some of our special events like Halloween, or if you prefer, online for story time. Check out Project Chimps at any of the social medias, or just go straight to projectchimps.org and find out more. We'll see you soon.